I'm going to show you how uh, to capture the image you emailed me or you have. Here's the image that comes by fax. You can tell here that it's, uh, it's an image because it's on top of someone's here. You can see here I've moved it down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the image. I use um, Snagit to do it. Control Shift S. And once I've captured the image, I use Adobe Acrobat to capture the file. And I do that by doing File, New. Notice here it says Transparent. And I'm going to call this uh, uh, John dash Hancock dot GIF. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit Control V, which copies the image in there. I'm going to click the um, wand and set this thing to 32 right up here. Anti-aliased, click here. Click Delete. And you'll see now I have a, um, a transparent image. I can expand it and get rid of some of the other things that aren't yet transparent, such as the, the closed, closed areas. I'm getting rid of those in the J and O. Then I do File, Save As. I select GIF, John Hancock dot GIF. I'm going to name it John Hancock uh, 1234 dot GIF, as you can see, because there's others that are named that and clicked OK on all these. You can click pause anytime you want and click normal and the file's done. I'm going to show you quickly how to get it imported into um, Microsoft Word. Insert picture from file the John Hancock 1234. Here's the signature. As I move it You'll see, you'll see I need to right click here, format picture, layout, in front of text, OK. Now as I move this, it'll go on top of those writings, those ones there, and on top of this one. So this is a transparent signature, this is not. Notice this one will occlude the other one. So. Um, that's how it's put into Microsoft Word. Now I'm going to show you how to put it into a uh, Adobe Acrobat. The way it's put into Adobe Acrobat is you click Tools, Tools, Commenting, Stamps, Create a Custom Stamp, Browse to Signatures, look for the one with 1234. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to give it a name, Hancock, and I'm going to give it a new category, show you, and OU, show you, click OK. The stamp is created. Here's how to use that stamp. Tools, tools, commenting, stamps, show you. John Hancock. I'm going to place this stamp right here and I'm going to size it. And you notice that this stamp goes over the writing. That's how it works in Photo, Photoshop and Adobe Acrobat and Microsoft Word. And I can do this for $30. And this is, uh, you don't need the $700 program that I happen to have.